Hi there and welcome to TV TV. So recently I purchased the Ford Fiesta Mark 8 ST and I thought I would create a vlog, YouTube channel, um, call it what you will, and bring you guys along for the journey if anyone's interested and take you through my decision or reason for purchasing the car, what I'm thinking about it in its first thousand miles or so now and whether or not you should consider one and if you are considering one, the things to be aware of when thinking about purchasing a Mark 8 Ford Fiesta ST. So let's take you around the car and go through the options that I expect mine with. So here it is, Mark 8 Ford Fiesta ST in magnetic grey, ST3 in magnetic grey with optional panoramic roof, performance pack, b &O sound system, um, blind spot indicator, warning, I think that's it, oh LED headlights as well, I don't think there was much else that you could specify, I think the CD player, you can see the point in uh, adding that to the, the car, but really loving this colour, I didn't want anything too leery, a bit old for uh, making that sort of a statement. I think it's looking really good, quite subtle, matching the wheels and some of the uh, additional trim. The paint is looking very good in the uh, weather that we're having with this sun at the moment. The fleck in the, the paint is really good. I don't know if it's coming out on the camera, but you can really see the, uh, the fleck in that. So, so far I've done a thousand miles, up to then, been keeping it under about 5,000 revs and just uh, today and yesterday been taking it over 5,000 into the high rev range and uh, pushing it a little bit harder and I have to say I'm really enjoying it so far, nothing to, to really moan about or report in terms of issues as you would hope after a thousand miles. But certainly enjoying the decision to uh, get into this. I think the 18 inch wheels, I know there's been a lot of uh, divided opinion on these but I think they're pretty nice. I think from a ride perspective if ride is an issue then the standard 17s I think would probably uh, be more conducive to a, a slightly softer ride. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is firm, but certainly not unbearable. Coming from a GLA 45 Mercedes, I would say this is not as firm as that. And this is way more fun. Less power, but way more fun, way more engaging, which is exactly what I wanted out of this uh, purchase. And I've got to say, every time I get out of it, I've most definitely got a smile on my face. So I must have must be doing something right. So yeah, there you go. That's uh, just a quick walk around of the car, the spec, colour, reason for buying. And uh, in the next video, I'll uh, go through in a bit more detail driving, exhaust note, and things like that.